internet. Today I am going to be playing with Keston Crafts Clear Polyester Casting Resin. Uh, in my research I heard that this stuff is really strong and durable. It is usually used to make things like paperweights and, um, and chunky costume jewelry. I also noticed or read in my research that it could possibly be good for making coasters because of the polyester plastic when it's cured uh, it's very strong I don't know well we'll see right um, when half when I was purchasing this at my local art store I was warned that it's really smelly and to use it in a well ventilated area um, so after that, I went out and purchased uh, a mask that is specifically geared to block um, toxic odors and specifically resin on the package. It told me so, so I don't know. So I bought this. And then also on the bottle of casting resin, um, okay, it is a bit smelly. Um, there's a list of warnings that also say, you know, use plastic gloves, something to cover your clothing with, and um, safety glasses. So, really? Safety glasses? Oh. Okay, so yeah, I, I bought these too. Um, so, with all that said, let's get started. Well, sort of. First, I have to make sure that my table is level um, so well yeah it's close enough um, I'm gonna be making two coasters one I'm gonna be making with some pink and blue acrylic and I also want to use some sparkles because I love sparkles they're so pretty also I want to see how these materials will work with the resin um, to mix up the resin I'm going to be using plastic containers a measuring cup and these little containers will be used to mix my colors in I will be using some stir sticks and uh, some paper towels for cleanup um, so I put this plastic thing on top so it's, I don't know, I was told to do that. Um, so I'm gonna be making a half inch uh, coaster. So I'll need six drops of Catalyst. I put two levels of gloves on because I don't wanna get anything on my skin. And so then I'm using the Casting Craft Molding Resin to spray in and you can kinda see the dried results. Um, so yeah, I, I think let's get started for real this time. <laughs> um, So I tested the depth of the mold that to see how many 30 mil cups of resin I need to make a half inch with water prior to all this because I didn't want to just royally mess things up when I'm using this product. And um, so guys, I have to say, this stuff is so smelly. I I, I just I, I can't even if this is what death smells like or toxic poison you know when you're breathing something in and you can taste it it tastes like poison it is so overwhelming and I haven't even put in the catalyst yet and I'm just blown away by the smell I, I'm, I'm seriously barely breathing even with my mask on so yeah that's your warning if you want to play with this stuff So I'm putting my six drops of Catalyst in and uh, the container says to mix thoroughly for one minute. Trying to um, not get any air bubbles as much as possible in because this stuff is flammable. The bottle tells me so. It says danger and it shows flames. So, mm-hmm, yeah, we're gonna not not encourage that <laughs> um, so I am going to be pouring in about three millimeters uh, to the base of my coaster I just want to be able to have I don't want the glitter to be 
able to be tactile through through my coaster. I want to have a nice even surface, so that's what I'm doing first. And then, oh, gotta just top it off a little bit. But that's the idea. Um, is a nice even surface, and then I'm gonna put some silver and some purple, larger flakes, kind of maybe like a galaxy look. Yeah, I like that, a galaxy look. And then some gold. Gold is so pretty. It is like, gold is one of my favorite colors. I just, oh, gorgeous, I love gold. So, now we're adding the second layer. And I know, the, uh, crap. Look at that, and that's why they say to let the, the one layer cure. But I just, I just didn't think about it, and um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and there that is, right? So it's starting to look really full, and I still have stuff left in my cup, and I just, I don't know what to do about it. So I'm going to just measure because I want to make sure I have this half inch, and. Yeah, I, oh, another stir stick. Apparently the other one was dirty already. Yeah, that looks like half an inch. I'm, I'm good with this. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll just continue with the original plan. I didn't miscalculate, we're good. So. Yeah. So now I am mixing up a new batch for my second coaster and I just gonna put some catalyst in there six more drops and then gonna stir it I sped this part up actually I cut a lot of the stirring out because you know watching somebody stir something is really boring um, so the idea of what I want to do here um, because I did really didn't plan this through properly is I'm gonna put down a bottom layer first of the clear and I hope that some kind of curing happens with my colors while I mix up my second batch of colors I don't know probably nothing will happen but you know, you know I, 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 I just want that little bit of you know an, in, an eighth of an inch or three millimeters of separation that's all so <laughs> So I'm just pouring um, the remainder of my resin into my little dishes so I can add some paint. Now I'm not using Casting Craft specific pigment which is supposed to work. I'm just using my regular old acrylics because I don't know if I like this stuff. I mean this stuff still smells so gross and I, I don't want to invest in something I don't know I like. So I'm just using my acrylic paints. I heard that um, Eh, some people have success with it, some people say it doesn't cure. I heard that if you use less than 10% of the paint uh, into the mixture that you'll be fine. I have no idea if I use 10% or not, honestly I just grab a little bit of a little bit here, a little bit there. We'll see what happens because I, I just, how am I supposed to know what 10% is? I don't know, like a small amount, right? So, so yeah. It's not very pigmented, I have to say. It's quite translucent, um, this mixture, but it, it will do. I, so I'm just gonna do a little swirly pattern, see what happens. Um, that eighth of an inch base that I put in, yeah, it did nothing. So, yeah, let's just, let's just pour that, pour it in, double fist that. Oh yeah, and top it off. Just give that a little bit of swirl with the remaining resin. And we're done. So I just want to um, oh just mix it up a little bit more. And now I'm gonna just top it off with a container to protect it from dirt, from the road, and uh, any kind of dust or whatever. So, um, 
yeah, it's been 24 hours and I just want to check it out. It's still a little sticky. Um, it is pulling away from the edges though, which is a good thing. I've been told it's supposed to do that as it heats up. It's supposed to pull away, but it's not ready yet. So the next day I'm going to try this again. Let's see. Yes. And it's, oh, that just popped out beautifully. Look at that. It's nice. Look at that. That is so cool. That is, that is cured. Definitely. A little rough on the edges, but can't complain. That can probably be sanded down. And, uh, ooh, sticky. Oh, no. Oh, oh, what's happening? Why? Ah. Okay, okay, look at that. That That is terrible. That didn't cure. Now, I don't know if it's because of my paints is taking longer to cure or if I didn't mix my resin properly. I don't know. I, I did the exact same thing for both, but oh, and look at that. There's a little bit of heat happening on that. I am just gonna lay these here and give it another 24 hours. And yeah, here, so it's the next day and it is still sticky. What the hey? Look at that, fingerprints, fingerprints. If I go up here, it's hard. And there's no fingerprints. If let me look at that touch, nope, nothing. I'm gonna let this cure for another day. And this is just well, that's cool. You can see through it. But look at that fingerprint. Finger, I think I think I'm just stuck with this. I, I just don't think it cured properly because per, maybe the paint, maybe I just mixed something wrong. But I'm gonna have to put a spray on it or something. This one's fine. It's it's fantastic. So I did end up putting a spray on it. You can kind of see it's a bit, um, has a coating <laughs> on it. Um, you, the, it's neat, the paint kind of chunked up, um, but I don't know, I don't hate it. It's a look. I put a, I painted black acrylic on the back of this to give it more depth. I think it looks more spacey and kind of really cool. Um, you can kind of see from the, molden crafting mold release um some marks that it left i'm not impressed with that um or maybe it's from the plastic wait maybe from when it was still curing what i don't know but i think that this one turned out really well and that just needs to be sanded down maybe might not we'll do a test so i poured hot water as if i was making tea let's see if this works. I'm going to leave it five minutes. And yeah. Oh, that's not a good sign. Ooh, crap. Ah, it's not coming off. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And it's a fail. Crap. Mm, stupid resin. Stinky and you didn't even work. So this casting craft stuff great for like I guess if you want to do table stuff uh, but not coasters no 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 will not work so if you like this video let me know by commenting um, what are your thoughts on casting crafts polyester resin is it do you have better luck than me it, it's just really smelly it's terrible I don't even know if I want to play with this again it's just I don't know. Let me know, and if you've had better experiences, tell me, and then maybe I'll try it again. But as of for now, mm, no, I don't like it. Um, if you want to see more videos, let me know. Um, again, comment, uh, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and um, I'll see y'all next time. So thanks for watching. Bye.